Okay, I'm back. Gerbils are now in their new home, settling in. I'll try and get some pictures up on the Discord later. Oh, I didn't mean to skip through that. No, don't overcomplicate things. Truth lies, this dwarf is a spineless worm. He prostrates himself before those who wipe their boots on him, and not because he hopes a better treatment, because he enjoys debasing himself. If he really had to choose a side, the Crusaders or the Demons, he would choose whoever calls him the most pain. My offer stands. Come away with me. Oh, come, come away from here, my love. You will rule Dresden as a king, and I will be your queen. Mm. I'm not going to interfere. I don't care if he goes. Just someone else to kill later on. He gets to his feet and looks the litho in the eyes. With the strange expression on his face. The mountain would sooner weep than this grim dwarf. But tears now well in his eyes. Dearest, it's alright. We're here. We'll never be parted again. Let's go. Come! Get back! Grasping his weapon stumps and slashes Minigo's eyeless face. Most surprising agility for one of his stature. Please, up the stairs. Curses! Stubborn as a mule. Never mind, my pet. Never mind. You won't get far. You will kiss this scratch and beg for forgiveness. You will be mine, wholly, eternally, willingly. I didn't mean to go through that door yet. Because we still got some exploration here. Nope, up there. It's this door here. We have any heals left at all. I'll watch your back. I crave your commands. No. Mm, one potion there. Okay, let's give you two potions. Always. You've got one potion. I'm going to drink these three. That's it. So, this is the Brimarac room, I believe. Ooh, hello. Forgot about this bit. So many plans and hopes have gone up in smoke along with this city, and so many are still yet to burn. Soon. Really Volesh here in Canopus? Do not fancy meeting her in battle. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Oh yeah, and we got something we can jump over a hole. Come on, you jump. Me. Did we do it? <laughs> nope, we fell down. God damn it. Uh, so... Back up we go again. <laughs> God damn it. I should have... I'll, I'll quick save next time because I can't be asked to repeatedly run upstairs. go to yeah this is the room with the brewer axe and this is the last room we need to do battle i don't think there's any doors off of there yeah all right all right quick save and then this one we will make the jump don't blame me nope <laughs> God damn it. Who's got the best mobility in the group? Alright, what are we looking at? We got mobility of four, minus four, five, 
seven, three, thirteen. We only need to roll a seven or more. Come on. This is my kind of work. There we go. Ten tries, Jesus. Um, got some magical essence. That's stuff. And then we'll quick save before we jump across again. We made it. Right, so one room left, really. This is going to be so painful. Um, we picked up any scrolls that could be of use. Let resist fire. Um, let's use the bless. Oh, okay, let's have you use the bless scroll on that body. Um, resist cold is useless. Which are good, but definitely need to get sold. I don't want to use holy sword yet. Blur. Blur. Chug. Chug. Don't really want to use the stone skin. Is this a reduced person? Alright, that's a large person. Okay. Have you been enlarged? And we might as well make Wendu enlarged as well, so her bow does more damage. Yeah. Use that as well. Alright, quick save. And charge! Turn base mode. To deal with that thing. Okay, he used his breath weapon on his allies. That's weird. But I'll take every bit of help I can get. Attack. 24 sneak, not too shabby. Charge you? Yes. Come on. 15 damage, is that it? Oh my god. Okay, one Brumarak down. Let's do zoom. And Ember, please, please put the boomerang to sleep. Yes. Okay. Deal with everything else. Cover me, all right. Let's get you here next to the wheel rack to do a coup de grace. No match for me. Shit, did they actually do damage to? Selective channeling or not. Uh, let's try and sleep the cleric. Boom, Max did a sleep. Fantastic. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Sealer is going to coup de gras. 
Which might have knocked these guys bum. Didn't get the fortune saves. But the Brimrax's down. And that's the important thing. Nice one left. Distract them for me. So, one left if we can hit him. There we go. Sure. I picked them up, sure. world the tattered blood splattered drawing well okay now we need to go where was it oh uh, here quick save There's a whole bunch of potions we missed somehow. Damn it. And scrolls. Oh, he said it was like a Oops. That's... Those... Oh, we've still got a thing to kill, haven't we? It's like a big nasty minotaur or something. Um... Snipe, not split, just chug. And... Let's go ahead and use... So we picked up some bless, I believe. You're not you. When do I have that? Big save. Let's move. Yep. Here's a big old Mino. Can we retreat already? Is he going first? No. So, rather than. Do we let him come to us or do I charge? I charge so he can't charge. Oh! That's not good. He's got... Damage reduction 10. Uh-oh. Is he immune to electricity though? Fire and cold he is, but not electricity. Uh, I'm gonna try and glitter dust him. Good, he's blind. And then we'll go 
lower saving throws. Succeeded, that's fine. Because then we can go slumber with a minus two. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, let's bane. So you're not going to have right out. Jeff, think you were just going to just attack. Sneak attack and actually do some damage to him. Uh, we're going to delay Cam until after Ember. Because then Ember is going to go lower saving throws. And then you are going to try and slumber him. Nope, damn it. Okay, can't get him to sleep. Christ for a ceiling. Um, Zippy zap stab. Yeah. Sneak attacks, come on. Pull Jeff. Chip away at him. Uh, you are completely out of spells. But. Can we actually use the tankard, maybe? Okay, the tankard does nothing. Go out, damn it. And... Let's speed a potion to window up and get her back up. Well done! I'm very close. Uh, no. Oh god damn it! He's blind. How did he do that? Time to share it. Yeah. I pushed him level up. Oh, we're really close to six as well. We identified blocker. Is it a great axe? I believe it is. Uh, plus one iron, uh, plus one cold iron, great act, and that's a hit on an enemy. Force shoot DC 10 and become prone. DC 10. Alright, memory serves. I don't really need to worry about this next fight. Pretty good, aren't I? Okay. Upon entering the chamber where the vanquished Warstone resides, the Crusaders could have expected many things. Ambush, deadly spells, or a horde of enemies. But not an empty hall, still and silent, with no Minigo or her henchmen. Only the obelisk and glimmers of light dancing on the dirty floor. Then again, all is not as placid as it seems. Glypso once again hears the seething choir. This time the voices grow louder and more insistent. One step, another. And suddenly Calypso sees the wallstone, not as it was a moment ago, but somehow completely different. It is no monolith emanating light, it is a cage made of pure energy. The place where Discari struck looks like a festering wound from which tendrils of dirty red and purple darkness creep throughout the entire artifact. And there, inside, two hosts of flaming warriors are locked in battle. One is light, the other blood red, but they're all waiting. For what? Hearken unto the Light Warrior's words. The Light Warriors speak of duty, service, and sacrifice made, and words reveal the truth of the Wardstone. Each one contains a host of angels, volunteers from heaven who committed to this indefinite imprisonment in order to guard mortal man from the demonic threat. They make no complaint. They ask no easing of their burden. If their goddess and her herald offer them the same choice again, they will consider it the ultimate honour to sacrifice their freedom for the cause. The angels know Tuscari's evil plan. When the last of the Light Warriors falls, the Wardstone will become a deadly explosive that will destroy everything around it. The other obelisks in the chain will meet the same fate. 
The Light Warriors pray for help. They plead for someone to strike down their fallen brethren. Those who succumbed to the demonic corruption already beyond salvation. And if they are stopped, they will allow the Warstone to heal and the Light Host to continue its duty. The Crystal Chisel, discovered in the ruins of Canaveras, is the ideal weapon for this task. It will cut out the corruption, along with those who have succumbed to it, and restore the Warstone's full power. The eyes of the Aeon until now slumbering peacefully and the heroine's soul awaken. They urge the heroine to look upon the Wardstone through them. The Aeon's eyes wish to see. Hearken unto the Red Warrior's words. The Red Warriors speak of pain and lies and disillusionment. Their words reveal the truth of the Wardstone. The barrier surrounding the world which is built on the bondage and suffering of countless angels. Every injury dealt to the Wardstone, these angels experience as physical agony. Pain is driving them insane. Deceived by the hollow platitudes about duty and service, they suffer torment day and day for the sake of ungrateful mortals who do not even know their names. Enough. The Red Warriors know their bat know their blades. Excuse me. Now turned against their former brethren, hasten the triumph of Daskari and his servants. Once the Warstone has wholly been conquered by corruption, it will become a deadly weapon under the demon's control. Some of the obelisk's prisoners beg for freedom, while others pray only for death. But they all agree that this existence is unendurable. The crystal chisel discovered in the ruins of Canaveras is the perfect weapon for a massacre. It cannot force, it cannot force open the door for those who wish to escape. They can destroy the Wardstone, along with all of its prisoners, willing and unwilling. None will be able to claim victory. But all will be gifted a merciful death, and with the end of their suffering, once and for all. Okay, let's use the Aeon's eyes. The Aeon, eyes of Aeon pierce through the essence, matter and time, and reveal the truth of the Wardstone. The stones are just as much a perversion of the world root itself. The demons are not off this plane, but this not did give this did not give my day. Oh god, I'm so sorry. And a herald licensed to disrupt the balance still further. Are imprisoning untold numbers of angels in the stone. A crime committed in the name of good does not offset those committed in the name of evil, which only multiplies the harm done to the cosmic order. There it is. The fate of two angelic hosts, faithful and fallen. The fate of Canaveras, but perhaps even all of Mendim, now rests in the heroine's hands. How will she proceed? Whatever this crystal chisel may be, its power is great indeed. It can destroy the stone along with all of its inhabitants. Or it can mend it by killing the angel defectors within. But what, cannot, what it cannot do, alas, is free those who wish to escape and keep the stone intact for those who wish to remain. The Aeon's eyes perceive a solution to the goddess's tinkering, one that will cost no lives. One strike with a crystal chisel, perfect point, and the stone's magic will be destroyed, and all the angels will go to their rightful place. To heaven, or to the plane of chaos and evil, the remnant of the Aeon's power draws all that is left. The Aeon's existence to the heroine, urging her to put things right. Somewhere. Sorry. Somewhere deep within the heroine's souls, the familiar eye of seeds, endless rage, unbridled hatred. What will happen if this is unleashed here at the stone? Uh, sorry, one second, I'll be right back. Sorry, had to grab uh, some soda. 
Close. I need some sugar. Fucking sleep, Jesus. So we could. Cleanse the warp stone, destroying the fallen celestials. Wield the stone's magic and return the celestials to their rightful plane as the Aeon would have wanted. Or unleash the demonic fury. Don't really want to do the demonic fury bit. Don't want to do the good bit. Might just do the Aeon mythic path. Yeah. Wield the stone's magic and return the celestials to their rightful place as the Aeon would have wanted. The Wardstone, the goddess's weapon used in her violation of the Cosmic Order. The demon thrafted chisel discovered at the scene of the very same crime. It'd be only fair if both instruments ceased to exist in the same moment. One precise strike and a chisel will cut through the stone like a hot knife through butter. Cut like a hot knife through butter, nullifying the criminal magic of the Inheritor. With cries of terror and amazement, the imprisoned angels go to their rightful places. The faithful to heaven, fall into the plains of chaos and evil. The chisel turns to dust, and with a blinding flash, the stone follows into oblivion. Eyes that Aeon look on in satisfaction. Aeon's mission is complete, and it came at a high price. What remains of the Aeon now rest in peace, knowing that the world is in good hands. And as for mortals, who brought it all to an end, seeing the world through the Aeon's eyes has left its mark on her. Aeon orderly world view, not unlike a shifting grid of coordinates, has been imprinted on her eyes. We shall henceforth be able to see truths that often evade ordinary mortals. Awesome. Crusade has succeeded. The angel's battle in the wall stone has ended, and the threat of the entire chain of stones has been eliminated. Of course, this is one no guarantees of safety for the future. What happened here can happen again. The Mendevians can no longer rely on Iodwin's gifts once they did. But the danger has passed for now. Lost item, Fabulous Knight. Joyous like children, the storm is coming and none of them see it. Should we add to their festivities, my lady? How about they don't like to burn their flesh? It's kind of like what he sounds like. Oh no, Sutra, we need such frolics to disguise. We are here for something else, something I have greatly anticipated for a long, long time. There we are. Starts, ladies and gentlemen. We were bought to Canabra by a really Voyage, architect of the world. Blisteringly vivid memory releases you, and you return from the depths of the past to your present. You have a fresh breeze in your face. The energy expelled from the Warstone has blown the roof off the Grey Garrison. The Warstone energy suffuses you, and through you flows into your allies. What is happening? Help us, I owe day! What? What are you doing here? How? Did Mina go there? She doesn't rush into the chamber. She's been here the whole time. Some unknown spell has stopped you and your allies from seeing each other. Ah, I see. Tricks from your pathetic goddess. Wow. <laughs> so even I over there was uh, to dirty tricks when you have her cornered. Don't celebrate yet, model. There's no one to hide you from me now. Look, you're already wounded. Pathetic model. I have no trouble finishing you off now. Looking down, you notice that the wound in your chest has opened up again and is bleeding as if you were hit by a sword. But it's no pain. All you feel is power filling you, 
Right before your eyes, the edges of the wound start to join and heal until it fully closes. Minigo's face twists in frustration. You'll die anyway. Oh, that's pretty. Demas looks formidable with her entourage around her. Her threat seems hollow to you now. You look at her and feel like a titan looking at an ant. Overwhelming, all conquering power fills you. Little demoness, those irritating hordes of the abyss. They got themselves your own equals now. I will drag your eyeless hide the length and breadth of Canaveras. See such disgusting things. Even imagining them repulses me. Sure, baby. Sure. Trying to be brave, are we? That's nice. Never dish out threats if you can't make good on them. Your goddess sent you to die. You think that's a victory? What we have done is postpone the deaths of all the other mortals. And not even for very long. But your wait for death is over. You won't see what I'm going to do to your little friends because I'm going to kill you right now. <laughs> Except she won't. Because we have got... Mythic power. Two additional attacks per round, plus five mythic bonus attack. All your attacks ignore damage reduction. Automatically confirm all critical hits. Deal 100% divine damage. Every first attack you make during the round deals 46 divine damage. In a line or cone, depending on attack type. 100% fortification. Damage reduction 10. 20 acid fire, literally sonic and cold resistance. All your spells ignore enemy spell resistance and energy resistances. Enemies fail all saving throws against them. All healing and supporting spells additionally heal and grant the target past healing 10 for 5 rounds. All offensive spells deal additional 100% divine damage and makes the target sickened and shaken. Um, as it's going to be very unlikely we managed to fail this. In fact, I think it's near impossible. Right, uh, let's so if I can do that. Yes. And not attack this turn. Cool. Oh fuck. Take off turn mate, bro. Guys, we're just gonna go stab kill, stab kill, stab kill. And then focus on Brimorak. You need her to last. Shit. See, that actually got hurt. Goodness. Alright, spores. Less. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> We're actually getting hurt. What in the fuck? Start a potion. Doing that, where is your power coming from? Minigo, to me. Stelton, my darling, I need you come back to me. Shut it. Get over here. Get behind me. If you want to finish it off, you'll have to step over my dead body first. Killing me won't be a challenge, I know, but I can last long enough to give her time to escape. Said it was right, you're a traitor. You always were a traitor. Maybe you're right, but you won't change my mind either way. So I waste my time trying to convince you. No matter what he does, no matter what he says, Stolten Vane will always be considered a traitor. Well then, Stolten Vane will finally be the traitor you always wanted. Enough talking, Minigo. Bust your spells and get us out of here. I'll hold her off, quickly, before I change my mind. No, my sweet, I won't abandon you. We'll leave this place together, and we'll go where we can be happy. Go. Let me finally... Damn it all, let's go. <laughs> Poor beast. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. The demon and the traitor vanish in magical haze. You feel the energy thrumming through your body as you start to f and the soul start to fade. It doesn't leave you. It hides somewhere deep down, leaving behind a small amount of incredible energy. As well as the understanding that you will one day master that inconceivably, inconceivable, huge power. Bizarre. Alright. Alright, we still got box. And someone's got some stat damage. Just, oh my god, loads of you do. Fuck. And we do have some potions of lesser restoration. Chug and chug. I imagine it was only twelve. Sure, yes, it is. Well, we need to fix that. And chug. Okay. Mythic. Should we do our companions first? Um. Oh, let's let's. Let's do regular level ups first. Dish, dosh, dosh, dosh. And let's see. Another first level spell. Let's grab. So you currently got this. Let's grab a. Oh, wait, we get a second level spell. Oh, we get a second level spell. A cure moderate, I think. Unless we get that for free. No. And then... Level up. More... Sword Saint. UMD, Arcana, Athletics, Magus Bonus Feet. Oh. Maybe Combat Casting. Good. And. Maybe we'll take Precise Strike would be good. It's prerequisite for... Maybe Combat Casting? A blind Fight? Where would we do Piranha Strike? Ah, it's fucking up. Take Piranha Strike. Oh wait, it doesn't stack the Power Attack, which we've already got. I think. Alright, do we... do we not have power attack? I thought... Get a hex. We took a second level of witch.
damage strike do. Swift action, plus one damage, and it chooses magic. Okay, we get that as a ability. Hmm. Think. I think we'll actually take that second level of witch. And we might end up just taking three levels of witch, because three levels of witch at least get us to second level spells. Okay, what hex could we get? Um... War of Purity. Actually, our oh, healing. No, it's going to be kind of useless. The nails. No. Oh, okay. There's no point taking that. So let's actually go back to Sword Saint. Mm. Megas bonus feat will take is going to be. So I could have sworn we had power attack. Hmm. Yeah, I've already got it. Okay. So, we will take. This is need for the dreadful carnage. Whenever you reduce an enemy for zero fewer hit points, we say you can intimidate, demoralize, okay, shatter defenses. Um, any shaken or frightened or panicked opponent hit by you this round is flat footed to your attacks. So, yeah, fuck it, we'll take Dazzling Display. And we still don't get access to third level spells. Second level spells, we could grab second only touch spells. Personal, no, no. Stone call? No. So we could grab a glitter dust and um animal aspect. Spirit Hunter and sure. Uh, yeah. More mm -hmm. yeah, Pulp Leader. as well. Eighteen. Jesus. Okay, so for you I want Cackle. And ah, we get access to third level spells. Now I'm pretty sure she'll get will she get Cure Series free? No. So we'll go with the Cure Series because she is kind of our healer. Then Eldritch Scoundrel. To be able to go. I think we might go Vivisectionist. Get that sneak attack stuff going. Spells, um, True Strike, Shield, um, Reduce, Enlarge, Cure Light Runes, Shot Dismiss, and Expeditious. Alright, Mythic. Okay. So this is going to be 
Devil and Gold Dragon, Swarm That Walks, and Legend. Wait, where's Lich? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a Lich. Devil. Gold Dragon. Swarm of the Warps. And then... Um, Legend is none of this. Mythic Hero. Okay, so Dance Macabre. This will give us... Um, allow to channel. Uh, let's have a look. Save for readers on the character. 2d6 plus 1d6 per mythic rank. Creatures that take Daniel down from challenges you save. 10 plus mythic rank plus the character's charisma, wisdom, or intelligence modifier, whichever is higher. And the creatures healed by the energy can exceed their hit points. The character may channel energy a number of times per day equal to 3 plus mythic rank. Okay. That's the channeling. This is... Okay. And they both do the same thing? Uh, 450 foot range, touch attack, heals enemies, does damage. Hmm. Okay. Force of reality. Um... Every enemy and favorite radius around the mythic character is targeted with greater dispel effect. Uh, second rank, mythic character gains the ability to fix hindering abnormalities in his allies. One ally in close range is targeted by greater dispel affecting all negative effects. That's pretty f funky. Force reality. Instrument of freedom is the healy, damagey thing close to the heavens. Abyss. Grab a pair of horns, getting a gore attack. Bit of fun. Uh, get mirror image, basically, for a minute per mythic rank. And then on the second rank, plus two and all skill checks. Second rank, resist electricity 20 and immunity to poisons. Immunity to poisons not really that great. Second rank, resist. Acid 20, resist cold 20, and immunity to petrification. Second rank. Uh, insight and flows of negative energy also gives them an advantage in combat against enemies that have an affinity. Those characters become immune to negative levels, plus 4 bonus on saving throws against death effects, plus 2 bonus on armor class, saving throws, weapon attacks, and damage rolls against creatures with a negative energy affinity. Force reality. I don't like force reality. Yeah, let's do force reality. Okay, we get summon wood golem. Freedom's child. Summoner's land. Summon a spectre. I don't want to pull it in spirit, like Babu. Uh, maybe we'll go Dance Macabre, we'll get the channel. Yeah. Okay. Um. Kind of want abundant casting. Uh, anything else here that's really good? Emergency health? No. Um, wandering hex. I mean, it, it has to just be for Omegas. Abundant casting to begin with, and then the next rank will take Archmage Armor, I think. All right, abundant casting. We can heal unhurt. We can heal undead. Okay, we get channel negative basically. All right, so loads more first level spells. Fantastic. 
Let's go. Got a cursive touch, another shield, a couple of true strikes, and then a couple of shocking drafts, second level spells. A couple of blurs, an animal aspect. How long does this last? Minutes per level, minutes per level, and minutes per level. Cat's grace, maybe? No, I think that's fine. Get rid of one blur and grab a. Give me a second for that. Okay. See that one. Okay. I want for you second mystery. And I'm really tempted to go with bones. Although we would end up getting Sea Mantle. Sea Mantle is fucking awesome. Wind. Nah. Although, Wind of Vengeance is pretty brutal. Life. We're going to be going undead, so probably not as useful. Bones, Circle of Death, Create Undead, Horrid Wiltering, and Wailer the Banshee. We could have a Paladin do Create Undead. That could be funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going Aeon, uh, be big demon for the gore. Yep, nope, that makes perfect sense, especially if you're doing, like, charging and such. Uh, okay. And then, who's this? This is... Okay, so this is our... This is our Shaman. We grab a second spirit. Bone lock. Bone ward. Plus two, you know, deflection bonus to all the class. Fearful gaze. Fluid mastery. Elemental form back and chill. Nature. Oh, can we get... Oh, we can get an animal companion. Yep. Nature it is. Okay. So, level 16, we'll get an animal companion. That's cool. And we get Storm Burst. And... Whenever the shaman is reduced to zero hit points, she automatically stabilizes against fast mean one for 1d4 rounds. Companion. Oh, okay. Uh, and for her, we will take. Remaining Zelots? Alright, who is this? This is. Oh, this is Windoraug. Okay, Windoraug. Um. We want. Is it ranging shots? When you miss, you get a stacking plus one bonus. It gets the same energy though. Immediate attacks, unrelenting assault, no. Um, distracting shots? You pelt in armor class blade against melee attacks equal to half your mythic rank plus one. That's pretty good. Or swear there is a leading shot. You should deal critical hit with a ranged weapon attack. Uh, or reduce the target to zero hit points. You deal your weapon damage to all other enemies in a 10 foot radius. Yep. Is there one for sneak attacks? I think that's a feat. So, uh, thieving shots. 
Ember. No worries. Ember, we're going to take uh, Abundant Casting. Or Beneficial Curse. Yeah. Well, do we get something for you as well? Like a second? One. There's no beneficial curses. Um, persuasion to intimidate. No. Hellbound. Plus four bonus all signatures against charm effects. Tenth level immunity to fire. Pretty good for. Pretty good for her, considering she has the. Uh, uh, that one where she she's blackened at the moment. Which takes a mindful penalty weapon attack rolls. Oh, okay, it's not resistance to. No. Wasting? Oh, we need a second. Peace us mirror image. Now or less. Plus four initiative. No, no beneficial curse. For you, it's going to be abundant casting. More spells. And then we've got you, our wall chef. You're going to go. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain a stacking plus two bonus on damage rolls with melee weapons up to a maximum plus ten until the end of combat. Oh. That's pretty tasty. Um, yeah, yeah. Unrelenting Assault. Alright, let's do some spell prep for people who need to. Done us. Witch. Oh shit, yeah, we get shit some more witch spells as well. Uh, let's grab. That and. What is this machine called last? Minutes per level? Oh. So I definitely want second level spells for witch, actually. Okay. So good there. Okay, here we get another one. Let's go with um, bark skin. Another third level spell. Can't take any other magic vestments, sadly. But we'll take a resist energy communal, which means we'll get rid of this resist energy and go with um, protection from alignment communal. Windwag. Get one second level spell now. Let's go with hmm. line weapon. Ember, you don't prepare. You do prepare, but you didn't get any more spells. Okay, quick save. Together we stand. Time to leave. We're going to pick up every piece of item we can in this entire place, I think. So we're going to get horribly encumbered. That's fine. <laughs> Hello. Make way! Warrior Queen coming through with a round for the heroes! When any of you reaches the long table, your party is gathered around. He heavily flops onto the bench and hands out a tank of the beer. The hunt is packed! Do you consider nixing this little shindig, Beth? I did consider it, and I still am considering it. It hasn't even been a week since the demons were booted out of Knobris, and we really should be in a period of mourning for the city's fallen. But the people deserve to celebrate, and Calypso deserves to be honoured. 
for saving the city and possibly all of Mendia. If you want to heap more praise on me, don't hold back. Now that's how you celebrate your achievements. Anita toasts you with her tankard. According to the watch reports, there has been no demon activity whatsoever outside of Canavis. I get the feeling the fiends are shocked by what happened. As we all are. What happened to the Great Garrison? What you did was a miracle. I believe the gods remembered us and decided to intervene. Beth. Come on, you agreed. No serious business today. Alright, alright, I'm done. No more. I would have thought we'd be celebrating a successful attack on our Great Garrison. Our own fortress. And then we blow the roof off the place. It's simply unforgivable. Comes the cheerful voice of someone sitting at the far corner of the table. While we're on the topic of the roof, there's already a rumour going around that you have been blessed by Owen herself. It was her power granted to you that destroyed the garrison's walls and roof. Turns out, people want a little piece of the blessing for themselves. The townsfolk are gathering chunks of the garrison's rubble as souvenirs and talismans. And I'm sure they'll hit the black market soon enough. Oh yeah. Here, uh, breathe on this for me. Yeah, for good luck. I wonder if I can get a cut of the sails. You mean who knows some guys? Just gives you a conspiratorial smile. Nevi, what are you about now? What do you mean? Do you see many people at this table who've personally been blessed by I myself? Well, a couple perhaps. I read his blessings are not conveyed through stones. There's a public official who really shouldn't. Ibeth looks at the head of the table where the voice originated, and her eyes widen as her words trail on. I feel a little chest there. I feel a little chest in after what you said about public officials. If I myself acquired a few pieces of stone, I would also wish to ask a hero to breathe of them for good luck. So what now? Are you going to toss me out of this fine establishment? The woman dressed in an unshowy finery raises her eyebrows. Your Majesty! Yes, it is I. I made the journey here to deduct here to deduct the cost of repairing the garrison roof from your salary. We have not been introduced. Galfrey of Mendev. Uh, I did not expect to see the Queen at our table. I was most keen to see the Saviour of Canabras with my own eyes. Why not come share your table in a cozy tavern? Your Majesty, we were just... and have them arrange... Calm yourself, Commander. I deliberately came here without any fanfare because I did not wish to draw attention away from my honoured honored heroine here. My person, personal guard and the force I brought with me are standing watch outside the city. I ordered all of your sentries to stand down. They also deserve a break. Every person who tirelessly fought to save Canaveras will enjoy themselves today, and my reinforcements will ensure peace and order. Uh, be right back. I think the front door's open. It's freezing cold. I need to shut it.
I have returned. Okay. Um, da -da -da -da. We all need to get some rest. Because grand new deeds lie ahead. Yes. Your Majesty, my dear cousin. Count, I admit I was surprised to learn that you valiantly joined the ranks of the city's defenders. Pleasantly surprised. I live to please you, my queen. My first thought when Discari cruelly robbed us of noble terrain 11, half of Canarifus crusaders in one fell swoop was of you, my queen, and how these events would weigh heavily on you. No one could have foreseen the demon's attack. We have to successfully held the fence here for your four heroic crusades. Gonna drown him in the nearest well. It's very nice. I value de your dedication and your eloquence. I hope you will continue to aid our soldiers. Not a chance. You know that I am not made for the front lines. Calypso, excellent bash, but alas, we really must go. Important matters to be getting on with. A new shipment of wiring from Thionin, the three beautiful creatures of the same provenance. But I'll most assuredly come to say my farewells before your army departs on its campaign, which, wherever it may lead you, will undoubtedly be a crowned with victory. I shall hold you to that count, but now allow me to devote some time to the heroine of the evening. I do not come here solely to give you this chance to celebrate, but all serious discussions and official announcements can wait until tomorrow. I have big, big plans for all of you. Especially for you, Calypso. But I want to keep you in suspense for a little while longer, so I shan't say another word. Let's mark this victory. My first toast is to you, the heroine of Cronavis. Now, what are we drinking? The fires of Cronavis have died down. Now the army's path leads to the walls of Dresden. A fallen citadel that the Crusaders have been trying in vain to reclaim for 70 years. The new piece on the board might give their efforts some added momentum. Burning City. Hey, gents! We just saved Canabras. We're now being given command of the Fifth Crusade. It's going good. has been improved. Mm. How are you doing? A little bit less sore today, hopefully. Less passing day. Commander, please allow me to join you whilst you inspect our encampment. Sure, first thing I need to do is sell shit. And level up these guys. Okay, so Squirrel Savan. Um, I want to make her an arcane trickster. So I need two sneak, mobility, and trickery. Sneak, mobility, trickery. If I went rogue, eldritch scoundrel, when do they get first level? She'll get some first level spells, which I can. Could be good.
Okay, so it's either going to be Eldritch Scoundrel. Um, or Vivisectionist. No, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go rogue, um, Elder Scoundrel. And then what do we need? We need, um, Parking Trickster, we need mobility and trickery. Then we want Snowball, True Strike, um, Shrimp Shield, Yeah, because we just get we just get more snowballs. That's it, really. So maybe actually, the other section is the better choice. Then she could always prepare some cure lights or something. Uh, true strike shield. That um, producent large five heavy stone fist. That excuse me. And then we'll go with the her abundant casting. Demon. Oracle again. Knowledge world, knowledge. No, keep knowledge world and then. Um, Swagger. I guess we'll. Oh, fucking might as well keep them going. Level 3 spell. Did we get anything for free? I thought Oracle's got a free spell on level up. Guess not. Ah, he isn't the life domain, so he should be getting Cure Series for free. Is that right? Hmm. There's next level you get it for free. Uh, we'll go with... I'll well, take Cure Series then. First, we do his mythic. Now we go with him. We go second mystery. We could go nature. So I think this would give him animal companion. Probably at the revelation. Uh, friend to animals? No. Ah, animal companion. Next level, he can get an animal companion. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay, and then third level spell. A good third level spell from nature. No, I think. Here's your best one. Let's back that out around. Yeah. Okay, so we just need to prepare her spells. We still don't. Okay, let's see if we've got any transmutation. These we can add to her spell block. Buy a bunch of scrolls to fill out various spell books as well. Let's try that again. Okay, uh, I want now I'm going to place displacement finally, and then we're going to go paste and another single pretty community. Although this lasts ten minutes per level, so it's just nothing but hastes. And here, we'll grab a, another mirror image, another scorching ray. Let's try and make this nice and even by going four scorching rays, mirror image, two glitter dusts, and then level ones. We'll grab. Snowball, oops, small snowball, go away. Now I'll grab another one. And then Alchemist, first of the spells, will give you shield. I don't think we have that as a first level wizard spell. Ah, we're going to take two slots, so we'll use the Alchemist version. Let's have a couple of those, a couple of true strikes, and then three cure lights. Okay, so let's share over here. This is the supply train, and this is our quartermaster, Wilson Gomes. Go to him for supplies. Okay, here. Who's Jern? Greetings, Commander. Hearty congratulations on your appointment. Whereas one knows it's hard to imagine someone worthy of taking up the post of the savior of Canabras, my name is Jenna. I saw you in Defender's Heart, and I haven't got a chance to speak to you. I'm glad our paths have crossed again, giving us a chance to meet properly. It is a great honor. Um, what are you doing in Defender's Heart? What I was bound to do under my holy orders. I healed, I healed the wounded and employed up the healthy to fight another day. Have you joined the crusade? Don't take it amiss, but no, I haven't. I have my own task. I'm needed in the Chilly Creek, a tiny hamlet which, due to some oversight, has been left without a priest these many years. I'm about to set sail for that. I'll be making my journey along Old Man's Cellar. If, by the grace of the good gods, you find the time to visit me there, I would be delighted to see you. Come, any time, day or night. The village is easy enough to find. Yeah, I might, uh, it's right on the bank. Okay. Hey, rest, I'll watch over you. Alright, hold Jeff. Uh, if you want the key to the keeper waiting, that'd be fine. Worm, you don't want to say anything to me. Wilts like arms! Camps Quartermaster at your service. How may we have help? Oh, he's a jolly looking fellow. Show me what you've got. Bulk selling. 
Okay, and then we want to sell old iron stuff. Um, sell that. Sell that. Useful, so will that coming useful? Right, so let's do price in descending order. It's the Black Dragon's Fang, 75 grand. I will buy that. Ooh, nimble Edge. Whenever this plus one speed S dot confirms a critical hit on an enemy, the wielder gets a plus two morale bonus to dexterity, and each attack they make deals an additional 1d4 piercing damage for 2d3 rounds. Wow. Can can you use an S-Dock? No. Can you use an S-Dock? No. Damn it. He saved a piece of Desna and he ran. Where do I find him? He wasn't in the ta temple. Um. Did you, so you saved him, do you mean you saved him from Holren? Okay, so you should have been approached by another priest of Desna, saying, "Oh, please find my um, find my two friends." Is that right? Uh, that should happen pretty much as soon as you've. Save the guy from Holrun. When you save him from Holrun, as soon as you move away towards the church, you should get approached by um, one of the three uh, initiates of Desna. Uh, but if you go up to the church, yeah, you should have been approached by one of them. Pretty certain that should have happened almost immediately if you saved him from Polaron. And then he should be standing just outside the front of the Temple to Desna. Huh. Um. Have you gone inside the church? Is there anyone in there? I have a f feeling that's a bug. So did you did you fight and kill Holrun? Yeah, as soon as that as soon as you as soon as you kill as soon as you kill Holrun you should get approached by one of the three um, initiates. They should just say, "Oh, thank you for thank you for saving him." Blah blah blah. Uh, please, can you find my friends? Um, one of them is probably hiding somewhere. One of them is is probably safe. And then you find the one when you find Daren. And then from meeting her, you can then find the other one. And then when you find all three. Yeah. Do you have C invisibility as a spell? Nino can learn the spell. And I think you can buy some scrolls of it from Defender's Heart. 
if you haven't looted one. I'm surprised you didn't get approached straight away. But yeah, if you walk right on him. So if you've got... I'm trying to draw this from memory. Okay. Church, and then kind of like uh, fence. If this works, so that's the church, and this is kind of like the fence out the front. We should be stood around about here, or here, just like pretty much near the um, near the fence entrance. Hmm. Okay. Here's wide sweep. Ceremony Falcata. Uh, plus five more bonus on all persuasion. Oh wow, that's quite fun. Plus five more bonus on all persuasion checks. Whenever the wielder uses dazzling display, all affected enemies suffer 1d8 sonic damage. Hmm. Races of rough, rough, uh, rough landing. Plus two competent bonus to armor class, attacks, and damage rolls against flying enemies. Okay. Rock of nature. Plus two breastplate. Plus two bonus to armor class against natural weapon attacks. Painful remorse. Spike to the shield. Don't want that. Hours of jousting. Whenever the wearer of this amulet declares a knight's challenge, they gain a plus three damage bonus against the challenged enemy. Flowing scales. Plus two scale gives the attacks against its wearer a 10% chance to miss due to concealment. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. Just a permanent one in ten chance of attack missing. Plus two stuff, mythical chain shirts, ring protections two, gloves of dueling. Full plate plus ones, bunch of plus one weapons. A lot of throwing axe plus one. Come on, where are you at? Surely you've got some throwing axe plus one. You've got plus ones of pretty much everything else. No feeling. Nope. God. Damn it. Wait, why are camping supplies and rations still in the game? That's weird. Um, Alright. Let's look at people's weapons. We're using Finian. Daerin has nothing. You've got nothing, but you're going to be blasting. You're sorted. You're yeah, kind of sorted. You're fine, but I want uh, another throwing axe. Plus one before you use that. Trish and Dagger add a plus one rapier. And then you're fine as well. Has this got better? No, it's not yet. Okay. I don't need any of this. It's a cell. Oh my goodness, that's... That's a genius idea. I should do that. Then... I really want. I wish I'd made my Magus use a fucking S dog now. Speed S dog that when it confirms a critical hit on an enemy, it's got a critical threat range of 18 to 20. Uh, you get plus two roll bonus to a dexterity, and each attack made deals an additional 1d4 piercing damage for two different It's pretty tasty. There's a scimitar. I wish there's a search function in the shop. Um, can I find a decent rapier? Mm, never mind. I'll come back. Okay. I know the queen's I'm waiting, gone. but uh, she can keep waiting. Ha! Huh. 
Hello guys, you should count yourselves lucky, all of you. In my last Lich playthrough, I left you to, I left you in the, uh, I left them in the, um, uh, trapped house. <laughs> Good afternoon, your commander Ness. Do you remember us? We're the crew from the next door theatre company, the one you saved in Canobras, back when you weren't our commander Ness yet. As you can see, we've come on a campaign with you. We signed up to clean pots and mend the soldiers' clothes. Keeping it up as a theatre is expensive, so we all have to take side jobs. But if we don't stop what we're doing, we're going to put on a play about our legendary feats. Damn it. Of course, the crowd scenes are difficult. We can't find the people to play the Halls of Demons. We decided against using a ritual to summon real demons. Luckily, we have Master Kemp. He's invented a way to solve the problem using sound. We caught a pig and some piglets who ran away from the burned out village. We put the piglets in a box and scare them a little, and the sound they make is just like an approaching demon horde. <laughs> the most important question is, of course, choosing a lead actor who will play the great knight commander. We had a right barney over it, making a number of lances as well as a shovel, a rolling pin, and a set of back scratches. But we just couldn't decide no matter what. Maybe you can help us. We have two candidates, most suited for the role. One will have the honour of conveying your heroism upon the stage. Uh, a Cyclops actor? Do you, don't you have any other actors who even vaguely resemble me? We have a small and poorly funded theatre, and we are only a few actors. But they're all so talented, one of a kind. I've chosen the ones that best fit your role. Trust. In my vision, I have more than a few, uh, a few successful plays under my belt. I'm to play by a gnome. Not a gnome, two gnomes. Rumble Dumb and Harifant. They're twins. One of them sits on the other's shoulders and puts a long coat on them. They can play tall characters. They switch places ever so often, so each gets their moment of fame. And that way, they each only have to learn half the script. Uh, Cyclops actor? He's completely tame, believe me. He has a few issues with articulation. But what a powerful physique. We'll make him a nice costume, wash him up and brush his hair. What hair? He's bald. Truth be told, in our show, he mainly just makes sort of heroic exclamations at the fateful moment, like, Onward! Or, We'll never give up! Or, My heart burns with courage! Lamkin can definitely handle the script. Alright, I've made my decision. I will be played by the Gnome Twins. Wonderful. Sorry you took away from your important things, uh, heroes and commanders do. We're off to throw rehearsals. I mean, first we'll wash some pots, then we're off to rehearsal. Let's go, you lazy lumps. Don't you embarrass old Gangma now. A group of soldiers is talking loudly, laughly, uh, laughing joyfully and passing around a flask. So picture this. My sword is here by the fire. Two goblins about to snatch it, and three more are digging through my tent. One sat in the bushes wearing just my mail shirt, wondering, what blast do I do? And an old mercenary taught me about the mail shirt. Well, sleeping armour, it's not so bad in mail. So once you get used to it, it's bad no one told me to go into the bushes without my sword. What did you do? What did I do? I barked like crazy. These are afraid of dogs, you know. So they all went wild and started running around. I spot my sword, and they spot me. So I jumped over the fire wearing nothing but my mail shirt and I grabbed my sword and I yelled in a big tough voice Oh Inheritor, grant me the power to crush these filthy creatures My sword's shining, the goblins are screaming I jump and attack them and they fight back Well I fought them off somehow And ever since then, I never take a step without my weapon No, oh, that's some story, hey stop, stop gulping, leave some for us You've only just set off and you're already drinking? You're the queen in the camp? Stop this at once you are, Commander Tyrabade. We are but drinking to the Queen's health. Uh, say nothing. Allow me to remind you, Paladin, that you are an army, not a band of mercenaries. Foolishness in part impairs discipline. Too much fun at the camp can turn into loose, to losses on the battlefield. With all due respect, Commander Tyrabade, I answer to the Knight Commander, not to you. The fact that we're fighting together doesn't give you the right to discipline me like a sergeant disciplines a recruit. <laughs> Damn, Sila put her into her place. I'll go in there in a minute, 
Just gonna try and loot everything first. Let's go to the field medic. Alright, what have we got here? Evil Watch Crusader. Vasily Rathamus, who doesn't want to say anything. Yando, who doesn't want to say anything. Camilla, doesn't want to say anything. So I guess we'll just uh, deal a book. And then check out inside here. We outfitted this tent to be used as our chapel. Okay. So who have we got? Seren Ray. Desna. Um, just Sanctified. Iomade. Rastil and Torag. Damn it. There's nothing to Nethers. Or Caden Kalen. Loot we had? Yeah, of course there is. Yoink. You don't need it. Requisitioning it for the arm. Okay. Let's grab some more loot. And this loot as well. And this loot. Oh, the reception check failed. I failed to spot that loot on the ground right there. Loot. So where's the storyteller? Is it around here? Ah, uh, the storyteller hasn't come with us. Oh no, here he is. Storyteller. Um, I got the page you were looking for from the Great Garrison. Although, first, look at my items. Um, ah, restore me this felt. The Covenant of the Inheritor. That is the name of this relic. This buckle once adorned the belt of a glorious knight from Minda. It is the embodiment of a promise made to a young girl by a powerful deity. A great promise that has changed much in the world. When you touch the restored relic, a strange vision comes to you. It's as if you could see the events that happened to it in the past. A burning sensation spreads across your chest, from the very spot where your mysterious wound sometimes opens. What is this? The influence of the storyteller's spells or something else? I say nothing. Um I got the page you're looking for from the Great Garrison. Yes, you're right. Another piece of evidence from the past I have forgotten. Sorry, it kind of clenches the pages you bought, and his voice becomes a bit younger and more energetic. My hand touched the stone wall. The cold pieces on my palm, like the teeth of a hungry dog sinking into a piece of meat. I don't take my hand away. I let the stone enjoy my warmth in return for its service. It accepts my caress and my unasked question. The one that's been asked a thousand times upon a thousand times. Where should I go next? Behind me, I hear the loud stomping of the minotaurs that guard this godforsaken place. I've tricked and outwitted them, leaving only a trace of my presence. There is darkness lurking overhead, honing its swords, claws, and teeth in the hopes that a rare traveller visits to there. But today, I will get moved. This labyrinth is alive. Its red veins, stone walls resemble the guts of a huge creature. If you keep still and listen closely, you can hear it breathing in the wind. It sweeps through the place. Where do I go from here? Forward. It's the place whence the wind carried a faint chuckle. Whence comes the faint smell of ash. Whence a few ages ago, Demon Lord Baphomet began his great escape. For several years I have thought about how to defeat her. For my enemy has no flesh. It is impossible to kill. I've heard you say this before. Um, yeah, he said that before. Ah, this is it. Baphomet, the cunning and insidious lord of Minotaurs, was once a captive in Asmodeus' prison. 
But only ten years passed before Baphomet was able to escape, taking his own prison with him, which later became the Ivory Labyrinth. Such an achievement deserves respect, and it is the goal of my research. Moving matter between planes is what interests me now. I stop near strange symbols covering the wall of the labyrinth. I run my hand over them to ensure they are real. What did riddles draw my Baphomet during his imprisonment? I take out the bark-covered notebook, painstakingly copy the symbols onto it. Behind me, two monitors are fighting, deceived by the net of spells I wrapped around myself like a blanket. I copy the strange symbols into the notebook. I have the slightest idea what the scribbles mean, or what the future demon lord think of when he wrote them, while his imprisoned in a cell with no way out. Was he still in his right mind? I need to help understand these notes, otherwise decrypting them might take more time than Phrasma has given me. Welcome back. One of the Minotaurs behind me killed the other one, tore his heart out and devoured it. His bloodstained nose sniffs the air sharply, his blood, his blood eyes shift from wall to wall. He senses a stranger, but he doesn't scare me. I'm certain of my powers, and the spells hiding me. The vision ended at the most interesting moment. Please find me the rest of the pages from this bark covered book. You must know what happened next. Okay. Let's check out the belt tree parts. Some magic. Where is it? Unbelievable. Uh, let's do nearest oldest. Ah, here we go. Covenant of the Inheritor. Symbol of Iron Redeem when placed on the belt emits a holy aura. All party members in a 30 foot area get a plus two bonus to cast level checks made to overcome spell resistance. Their weapons become good aligned and count as if they were made of cold on How dope is that? Yoink. Always on. Um, we need to sort out some stuff. Okay, uh, let's pop you. Law world, who's my advice, trickery, stealth, religion, persuasion, perception. What was that last? Yeah, like an hour. Um. Fourth level, when a sword saint hits with his chosen weapon, he can spend one point from his arcane for in order to maximize his weapon damage. Ah, okay, yep, I'll leave that turned on. Then. Let's have. Those. And then what's the way to trigger it? Is that. So I want keen and. fire. Oh, I have three, can I remember? Keen of fire. We can have the. Oh, we don't have. We don't have selective channel. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Shocking grass. What about that there? Oh, this ability here. You and this perfect critical. Fourth level one, the source name confirms a critical hit. Spend one point from his arcane pool to increase his weapons critical multiple by one. Nice. And in the spells, I think we're going to go with the shocking grass and that there and that there.
Yeah, that would do. Uh, let's actually pop you over here. And so that. Okay. Okay. Let's check out Tirabade's tent. See if there's anything in there we can steal. I mean, um, um, yes, yeah, steal. Oh, hello. Half plate of vigor, you say? Thank you. So you're currently wearing plus one half plate. This is uh, plus two half plate with plus two con. Very good. She doesn't need it. She's got her own armor. She's wearing it at the moment. I think we've been into every tent. So let's go back to... Oh, no, we haven't been in here. Nura's... What's this? Ah, oh, there you are, you dashing troublemaker, you. Uh, I found it. I haven't got an animal companion in the party at all yet. But when... Uh, I think it's when Daren levels up he can get one. Oh, there you are, you... Uh, our short acquaintance is coming to an end. Very soon you'll depart from your crusade. You'll be where you'll scrape by on horrible rations, struggle vainly to fall asleep amidst snoring soldiers, be rudely awoken by the freezing cold, and have to look up at the dour faces of self-righteous prigs before you finally perish in the more of some demon. I have a journey ahead of me too. I've just rented a sailboat in the south. I've also hired an excellent chef. And a host of other entertainments. Well, to each their own, I suppose. You know, I'm generally sad to see you go. Sounds like mockery. Forgive me. I cannot switch off my venom gland from my whims, eh? But you intrigue me. If only we could have spent a little more time together. But of course, not under these conditions. Let the Crusaders and the Demons have at each other. With any luck, they'll take this entire sanctimonious spectacle down with them. I'll be blunt, you don't intrigue me, not in any way you obviously had in mind. You are a valuable companion. Uh, you could have stayed in my party. Eh, uh, that's giving me praise. Yep, recent pit's great. Because they trip and they can't get up, so they lose a lot of decks and then they just fall in the pit. <laughs> it's brilliant. If you feel you don't belong here, Go. But I'd like to see you again someday in the future. Get to know you better. Uh, throw a banquet for me to celebrate our victory in Dresden. What do you say? Victory in Dresden. The autumn is so charming. Well, should you prove lucky enough to survive, by some miracle, you'll find me. Perhaps I'll even remember you. No promises, though. In any case, I tend to wait until the army departs. I do love a good send-off. Especially when it is I who is staying and someone else who is heading off to meet a dreary and hopeless end. Sometimes it does one good to ruminate on the unfairness of life. Well then, farewell, Commander. I assume I shall be your most precious memory on this most disgusting and exhausting road to the pointless slaughter of Hunter. Or, if not the most precious memory, then at least the most stirring. You got no idea. Hopefully Nero doesn't start convoy. No, let's take all the books. Thank you. We've got some fresh stuff to sell to Mr. Gwa uh, Mr. Gwerm. No, not Mr. Gwerm. Um, Garms. Sell, sell, sell. And half plate plus one. Let's sell that. Jar fists, is that going to be of any use to anybody? 
Possibly. Okay, armor. Can you can wear flowing scales? You're currently going to get 11 armor versus 10, so I need, I need to respect her. Big time. Um, you can't wear armor, you can't wear armor, you've got some armor. You don't really need armor, I can't wear armor. Yeah, I guess just sell. Okay, time to have a chat with Queenie, who's over here. Hopefully we can loot before she says anything to us. Yeah. Hmm. This is some stuff we didn't loot from the... Uh... Dungeon, maybe. Uh, let's put the barding and um, the attack fists in there. All right. Ah, little pork blade. Your Okay, fine, I can talk to the Queen first. Queen greets you with a stare. She has dropped the pompous air with which she announced the fifth crusade. The face of the ruler of Mendoza appears calm and thoughtful. She has made her move and now awaits her opponent's reply. Hello, Commander. Um, I'm satisfied with the troop with you. Do not expect they will be sufficient for the task. You will have to prove yourself a shrewd leader and hire necessary troops with the provided funds. I've chosen a target for your campaign, and that target is Dresden, a lost outpost within the world grid. The Sword of Valor was kept there, a banner that was once carried by Ermide herself. Our greatest holy relic was lost when the city fell. To make one thing clear from the start, the Sword of Valor is no mere symbol, but a powerful weapon against demons. The holiness of the banner weakens them, and robs them of their most dangerous abilities. Teleportation. So, on that on that point on the tiger, grease and um, glitter dust are some of the best first level spells throughout the entire game. Because there's very few things that are immune to falling over, and there's very few things that are immune to being blinded. Granted, the DCs don't scale as well as you get in the high levels, but it's a first level spell. A force march to Dresden awaits you. The Sword of Valor is still kept somewhere within the Citadel. The demons probably think it's a hunting trophy. Its recovery is just as important as retaking the city itself. I hope the task is clear. I'm sending two specialists to help you, along with the soldiers. A historian, Nora Dendera, and a cleric, Sausage Vanek. One of the famous inquisitors of the Church of Iamadeh also wants to talk to you. The Honourable Litter, whom everyone calls Hawkblade. Oh, really? Man, I get slumber hit all the time. But if you're coming up against stuff with uh, decent... Um, uh, decent will saves against it, get Evil Eye. Do Evil Eye on something the first round. Even if they make the save... They will be suffering a minus two to their will saves for one round. If they fail the save, it lasts like six rounds or something, which obviously makes hitting slumber easier. Also, um, the what is it like the the elemental weakness one or what's it called? It's one of her other ones. Um, the one she starts with. That's really good as well. Because you cast that on something and it goes, yeah, if they fail to save, they, it suppresses all of their uh, innate resistances. Do not wish to keep you, Commander. The matter I must discuss with you is extremely important. It is not directly related to the Crusades. 
You no know, doubt wish to meet your new comrades and speak with Her Majesty. Therefore, I shall leave you now. But I ask that you seek me out in camp to your earliest convenience. Hey, listen, it's amazing here. It's like I'm in a ballad. There's knights in shining armour, deadly dangers, glorious feasts. Sorry, feats. We're going to show those demons. I'm so tired of sitting in a library reading books about history. It's time I took part in it. Uh, did you see how I defended the tavern? You, you buy one scroll of polymorph silver dragon, one scroll of polymorph uh, shambling mound, and one scroll of polymorph wyvern. <laughs> uh, having having found that it became a lot they were like 1800 something like that imagine 28 turns damn I don't think I did mine in, in turn based I was down to only 5 Defenses still standing because I didn't spot one um, arsonist, stupidly. I should probably do that turn base next time. I'm glad to help your cause, Commander. We have some time later. I'd like to speak with you further. You have plenty of time to talk. You're the Knight Commander's people now. They're trusted advisors and companions. Now then, can you please leave us? Here, Beth, you can go too. Um. <laughs> Should not receive the usual gift and becomes. Uh... Nope, didn't need to tell her that. Yeah, the task is clear. Splendid. Ah, oh, yes. She's in between. But one final matter to attend to. Could be rather enjoyable. Count, there you are. You received my introduction. I did. I did not have time to read the thing before I was dragged before your majesty. In truth, I was readying myself to depart. Matter, I trust you forgive your sovereign for a rather brusque summons, especially when you learn what prompted it. As you are aware, Calypso has recently been appointed Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. So it's been a long while pondering whom to appoint the highly sensitive post of Montesfield Attaché, advisor, Plenio Potentiary. Blech. Without portfolio. Congratulations, Count. It's a great honour, I suppose. What a wonderful gesture, Your Majesty. I imagine our dear Count would have been inconsolable if you hadn't given him this chance to serve the common cause. If you would approve, Commander. I have my doubts about whether you are ready for such a responsibility count, but your conduct in Canavis has put my mind at ease, so you will travel with the troops to Dresden. Only the commander may remove you from your post, but I trust that you will dutifully fulfil her orders and make a good showing of yourself. Especially since word of your appointment, Count, will reach the court at any moment. All of Mendev's nobility will be following your successes in service to the nation, including all your devoted admirers. I even heard one bard with whom you're particularly friendly has already begun composing a ballad to your honour, your heroic participation in the Crusades, and your faithful service to the commander here. Your largesse truly knows no bounds, dear cousin, and I am most, most gratified by the honour you have shown me. And let's get going. May Iomide help us all. Alright, Anivia, what have you got to say? So tell me straight. How did the brawl of the Great Garrison end? I've heard stories, rumours. Kind of my job, you know, to listen. I've no idea what problems the Crusaders are saying about you. Some of I maybe they came to you and pointed you her herald. Others said that you died and an honest to God's angel is now leading the army disguised as you. Still, others say it was just an explosion in an alchemist's lab. And I'm the one spreading rumours about your powers. I wish. But you know, you really have changed since the Great Garrison. Hard to describe, but you've become kinda... Smarter? 
more dangerous. I have a gut instinct about these things, but didn't until really dead. You're dangerous, Commander. And by Desna, I hope you'll be dangerous to our enemies and not to us. Or to yourself. Fair enough. Right. Maybe we can now visit the other merchants. So I need to buy some scrolls and potions. Uh, here's our little lizard companion. Oh, he's adorable. Let's see if we can get him onto the path over here. So we're going to bear with him. Hey, come back, come back, come back. Where are you going? He's adorable. <laughs> Alright, um... So... Mysterious Elf. Damn it, here again. Ooh, there's a blacksmith. Ooh, what's this? He wasn't here last time. Um, let's do... Price in descending order. He's just got a bunch of masterwork stuff. Now, hard. There's a cold iron masterwork throwing it at least. Huh. Maybe his stuff will get better as we go. Alright, well, Jeff, let's check out your uh, Tiefen connections. A stock of Puritan. Um, before he only existed in Dresden. Ah, okay. Robe of Inevitability. Uh, robe grants to wear a plus two bonus to spell penetration. Hmm. Actually, I might buy that. Process of armor, acid. Oh god, there's bo there's wands of acid pit and wands of grease. Okay, what a bone shaker. Wand of haste. Very tasty. Flee evil. Image false life. Okay, now in power. I want that. Extend Metamagic Rod? Sure. So much money I'm spending. Verifying solution. Yeah, let's buy all of the food as well. Let's get the potions and lesser restoration. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We're currently using that. Oh, we can't. Okay. Um, so this girl saves against fear. Who's got the worst will save out of these guys? Oh my god, you've got a one to will save. Yeah, that's day. And then... Alright, so we either have two attacks at plus 10 doing 6 to 13. We have three attacks at plus 8. Doing five to ten. Almost ready to make the switch from the bow. Fuck it, it's only minus two. Uh, Sealer. 
Yeah, okay, cool. And let's just check out you again. Uh, who is talking about girl hiding her face? Who was she? What did she want? Good commander, you haven't used yourself. But she's not part of her own army. I know all our soldiers by name and sight. Show me what you got. Do you have a bag of holding? No. Never mind. Uh, Paulgus, are you going to send anything in this? Oh, we've got a black and mirror. Um, no. What's that do? DC on saving throws. It, wait, so whenever the wearer of this enemy uses a hex, the DC of the saving throw against it is increased by one. Uh, yep. Or. No. So, we'll take persuasion. Some more crap to sell. What's this? Hmm. Oh, is the loot already reformed? Did we miss did we miss loot somehow the first time around? Alright. Look at the weight of the panther. Is it, wait, is it that one kilogram? Um, no, no, it's two pounds. Wait, that's a hell of a lot. Why in the hell does that weigh two pounds? Weird. Two pounds? Oh, it's, it's, oh okay. Alright, what do you want? Uh, okay. Good fortunes. Alright. You? Alright. Scrolls. Yeah. Con man's room. Perception and trickery. Charisma plus two. Hope resistance plus three. Pest control. Hope of resistance that gives damage reduction of five slash against all swarm damage. Nice. Um, okay, if you can cast spells spontaneously, grants the ability to cast the following spells Fireball, Control Fireball, Fire Snake, Hellfire Ray, Firestorm, and Fiery Body. Uh, bookworms, plus two bonus to intelligence, and immunity to all compulsion effects. But a minus. Mm. Whenever the wearer of this belt uses a scroll or potion, gives plus one to its caster level. And buy only this. And we've got some books we need to sell as well, actually. Um, I'm not going to buy this stuff because it's all various different prices. I'll buy the eggs, cheese, fowl, fish, that, and then what don't we need? I don't need any of this stuff anymore. We also don't need any of these books. And that. That's a small bag of holding. Do you have... You have no bags of holding to sell. No croissant. Okay, scrolls. Of scrolls. Was that a long just shocking cross I saw? No. Oh yeah, another wand of shocking grasp. I already got one, but it's good to know there's another one here. And wand of reduced person. The other wands. Power mismagic. Wand of protection. 
Gifts, weapons, healing potions. Okay. Looked at that. So it looked at that. No armor, no weapons. Good. I need to put. Okay, so we've got some rods. Extend. I want you to have the extend. And I want us to have the lesser of heal. And you should still have. Yep. Okay. So, I think. I want to check out. Down here, I think, is where we can find the um, Pathfinder dude. Hiller? Is he the Pathfinder? Greetings, I'm Hiller, a venture captain of the Pathfinder Society. Yes. Um, oh, I can't respec yet. Oh no, my companions and I need good training. So, I was going to respec. Now, I'm not going to bother respecting right now. Uh, I'll respect once we've done Dresden and such. How much would it cost us to get 18,000 to get an NPC companion? Yeah, I don't have that kind of money right now. Okay, good to know. And what do we actually have to do? <laughs> Chili Creek. Um. Okay. Companion quests. Talk to Neo, so we've done that. Neo inspiring cart. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need to talk to an Inquisitor. Hey Gar! How you doing buddy? Why my alerts are muted for some bizarre reason and I don't know why. Uh I, I apologize. You guys should all go check out Gar. He's trying to get me. No! Fantastic no, streamer. <laughs> yes, it was all by once. How are you doing, Gar? How, how are you doing today? What are you up are you playing? Yeah, I am. I'm going to play the shit out of this game. I'm going to do at least three playthroughs. Uh, I need to talk to Sausage. And Storyteller wants pages and ah, and he's talked to Irabeth and Sausage. Okay. <sighs> Bloons. Oh, cool. That's the Bloons is the tower defense thing with the monkeys, right? Come on, I'm allowed to say something. Before you, this wasn't a war. It was agony drawn out over decades. No one believed in victory anymore. When the demons attacked the city, the summit was a relief. At least the end had come. They laid down their weapons and surrendered without a fight. I felt the same thing. I somehow got through on stubbornness and the vague hope that if nobody found an Eve's body, she might for some miracle have survived. That miracle was you. You returned my beloved to me, and I'd nearly lost all hope of seeing her alive again. Then you went on a suicidal mission to the Great Garrison and won the city back for us. You turned a defeat into victory. I know it wasn't easy, but you made everything seem so effortless. You do everything just like that. Um, found a scabbard with your family name on it in the Great Garrison. This scabbard held the solemn power, my family's sword. My father once fought with it, and I took it when I left home to become a paladin. Alas, it was not stolen. I parted with my heirloom willingly to help someone dear to me. And Nevia needed expensive healing, and having no other way to procure money, I pawned my father's sword. I think he would have understood. I'm sure he would have given up everything to help his family. I would hope to redeem Solemn Hour eventually. There is never enough money, and soon the sword disappeared from the pawn shop altogether, and I have no idea who took it. It seems like I'll have to part with my father's sword forever. Um. Do -do -do. Isn't Nevia sick? You'll forgive me if I don't go into details. It's a private matter. Suffice to say, everything is fine now. The treatment was costly, but it was worth it. 
So do you guys want to know the backstory? Do you want to know what that money was for? Because I'm almost certain it is not explained at all in the computer game. Actually, I would suggest... Okay, yeah. So, Anivia was born a man with um, body dysmorphia and... Oh, is it? The explanation is in the game. Oh, then I'll shut my mouth and you can find out. Oh, must have missed that in the betas. Stay silent. My parents were loyal servants and it wasn't enough to earn uh, a title or a coat of arms. Still, however humble our name might be, it's worth something. I don't know if I'll ever see Solomar again, but at least I'll have it scabbered back. Thank you. We need reinforcements. Can you get us more soldiers? When we began marching Dresden, we chose speed over numbers. In order more volunteers to be recruited, they simply won't arrive in time. Pay mages to deliver the troops to the camp. Except the doubt that our armoured coffers could afford it. If you can spare seven and a half thousand gold coins, I'll see to your reinforcements. That makes sense. Um. Fuck it, I'll pay seven. No. Or do I? Hmm. Perhaps later. Okay, so talk to her. We need to chat to the Inquisitor fellow. Where the hell's he? Is he on the map, maybe? But yeah, he's up here. And then we need to go talk to Sausage Dog. Uh, what brings you here? I ask you to sit there. Assist the Church of Iowa in an investigation of the utmost importance. I understand that the leader of the Crusade has plenty of other matters to attend to, but please allow me to tell you the details. Perhaps I'll explain why I'm calling upon them. Please, you've already heard the story about Count Arimbe's story, part of the tragedy of Heaven's Estate. You're going to investigate this old case, aren't you? Yes, I am. I have several reasons to doubt the widely shared account of what exactly happened at the state and how it happened. You see, Commander, I was among those sent to examine the state after the incident. I saw everything with my own eyes. I still remember it clearly, even though it feels like I happened a lifetime ago. Heaven's Edge was a unique place that still carried the spirit of old Mendev, Mendev before the world ruined. And yet on that day it turned into a labyrinthine house of horrors, like something only seen in our nightmares. Apologies for the digression. I wanted to tell you about my suspicions. Everything about the incident seemed odd. Why was the person left to love a young boy with newfound talent for divine magic? Why did nobody send Canabras for help, even though the agony spent many hours? We found the demons dead with their heads cut off when we got to the estate. How were they defeated? How did the disease kill even the paladins present in the estate, who were said to be immune to any disease? If the demons had found a way to penetrate the Holy Warrior's defences, why has this never been repeated since the tragedy at Heaven's Edge? You are the only person who can help me here, Commander, because the only living witness of the events is currently serving in your army. The army's around will take you near the very site of the tragedy. Heaven's Edge has been abandoned and sealed with potent magic throughout all these years. Only the Count has the power to break the spell. He's unlikely to invite an Inquisitor inside, and even in case he won't like me sniffing around the family seat. If you, as Commander, express your wish to visit the estate, he will be obliged to fulfil it. I will simply follow you as one of your attendants. Fine, I will help you. What do you need me to do? Thank you, Commander. Now I ask you to speak to the Count and tell him you wish to see him at Heaven's Edge. Please do not inform me, inform him of my presence right away. I will join your escort when it's time to travel to the estate. When we get there, I will also require your help during the investigation. You have to follow me, observing my actions as an independent witness. Very well. Sausage Dog is... Ooh, some loot here. Sausage is painting. Hello again. I'm very pleased to meet you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. 
It's a pity I wasn't there at the Grey Garrison to witness your feats of strength with my own eyes. The Flash, however, could be seen miles and miles away. Some people were frightened of it, thinking that the demons had blown up the remains of the Keep. I, for one, knew immediately that it was a good sign. The light above the city showed us that there was still hope. Uh, you wanted to discuss something with me, right? Yes, I have a personal request. Before we undertake our journey and leave Canabras behind, I would like to visit Martyr Zacharias' cemetery for a funeral. It's not far from here, and it's important. I would like to pay my respects to my friends from the Temple of Shalin, who died defending the city. Also, if it's not too much trouble, I would like you to come with me to honor their memory. Their friends and family will be at the funeral, and perhaps the commander's personal presence will bring them comfort. I know that you are burdened by many cares right now, so I understand if you can't find the time. But if you could, I would be sincerely grateful. You must be rather busy indeed. Leading a crusade all by yourself is no joke. I still believe that you are up to the task. This war has been raging for a hundred years, but you've given us a chance at victory. Yep. I've done it. All on my own. Nobody helped me. Um... I would love to visit Heaven's Edge and see the estate someday. I was just about to mention it myself. I've been thinking, in the middle of this whole crusade nonsense, we must simply, well, I simply must devise new ways to have fun. All oh, the recent commotion, my birthday completely slipped to my mind. What if we were to celebrate at Heaven's Edge? It's not far from here, and you'll get to enjoy a banquet on my bona fide haunted house. Since you're my superior, and I'm your advisor, I'm obliged to ask your permission for leave for the festivities. And I want to invite you too. I'm sure the commander can free up an afternoon whilst the soldiers are on leave. Alright, deal. Perfect. We'll have a ball. I'll make sure of it. Okay, I think... Go to Heaven's Edge. Go to the cemetery. Work out some cultists. Um... Yeah, find the lost relic of the Crusaders. According to the Chronicles, one of the Crusaders' relics was lost in the lands of Commander's armies about to pass it. Apparently this artifact would be useful in the March of Dresden. Perhaps it would be wise to spend some time carefully exploring the right bank of the West Selen. I think that's me. Banner at the still, and then this is go to Chili Creek, and this is wait for Kilesa's schemes to be revealed. And find... Okay, cool. Time to... Oh, do we need to rest to get spells done? Or is everyone... Okay, two prayers. What's this spell selection sausage? You haven't even got... Um, Bane. Don't need that many lesser restorations. Jeez, dude. Let's go with... And then... Third level. I mean, I do love prayer, uh, but I think I'll get rid of the dispel for the resist energy communal. And is anyone else? Yeah, it's just sausage is going to be out. It's fine. Time to skadoosh. Oh, here's the exit. Oh cool, now someone's everyone's become 